What's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing a three hole oil change on a 2013 Softail Deluxe. Three quarts of regular, then one quart for your primary. And you're also gonna want um, synthetic for or synthetic gear lube for your uh, transmission, 7590. Uh, by the way, uh, all the other is 20W50. Okay, so even the primary gets 20W50, just regular oil. Okay, and then <clears throat> if you're gonna go with a K N uh, oil filter, it's 171 uh, C is for chrome, or I think 171 just nothing, um, is the same thing, only in black. And that's it. All right, so one of the basic fundamentals of doing an oil change is you wanna get your oil warm. You wanna warm up your engine, so take it for a quick ride, warm up that oil, and then get to work. Okay, at this time you might be saying, where the hell is my oil drain plug? Okay, and that would be, all right, here's your bike. All right, here's your transmission. Basically just go right down from your transmission. And it's actually just a little bit behind it. And it's it seems like it's part of the frame. It's actually right here. Okay. And to take that off, you're gonna need a 5 8 Okay, so get your oil bucket, get your 5 8 and get cranking. Okay, so while your oil is draining, you can, uh, in order to help it drain a little quicker, um, you can take off your oil dipstick. Okay, and just kind of just undo it, and you can just let it hang. Um, it's just so it, it removes the vacuum, and it just pours out a little easier. It's draining. We're good. Um, now we're gonna take off our oil filter. All right, I don't have this special tool, so we're just gonna we're gonna throw some plastic bag under there and make it work. It's like inevitable that you spill a little bit of oil, whatever, clean it up. If you're running a Canon air, um, <laughs> oil filter, it actually comes with this little socket thing already on it, which is 17 mil. So get your 17 mil out immediately and get cranking. If you don't have that, then get your oil filter wrench or just hand twist it, good luck. All right. X marks the pain. All right, so we get the oil filter off and we cleaned it up a little bit. We're gonna do a final clean once it's all done. But uh, you know, this is very typical of my oil changes. Oil does get everywhere, but it's all good. Just clean it up. All right, so we got our oil filter out. So as you can see, the gasket is like partially pre-lubed, but uh, just like your old grandpappy taught you, just take a little bit of the old oil, dip your finger in it, Okay, and then just slide it on there so it creates a good seal. I mean, this is this is what the guys at Valvoline don't do because they don't care. So this is why I do my own oil changes because I care, because it's my motor. Here we go, putting it on. I don't want to spin it clockwise. Just hand tight, really doesn't have to be tight at all. That's good. Okay, so filter is done. Okay, so we got our drain plug here. One thing you might notice is that there's a little rubber gasket on it. You're gonna wanna replace that. If you don't, it's not the, I guess it's not the end of the world, especially if it's in good shape, but if you can, replace it. Okay, we're all done. I'm probably just gonna dab a little bit of oil on that thing too, just for safekeeping. Good. Oil's out, everything's sealed up. 
Good. Now we're putting oil back into the bike. Where do you do that? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this gigantic hole. And then when you add the oil, um, it's better to not add enough than to add too much. All right. So we're going to start with just a little over two quarts and then we're going to check it. We're going to run the engine because obviously the uh, filter needs to fill up and then that's going to change our, our oil level. Um, and then you're just going to add as needed. Okay, so we got um, two and a quarter quarts in there. Now we're just going to start her up just for a couple minutes. All right, so you shut it down, keep it like just a couple more minutes, let the oil drain back down, and then we're gonna check it. I just added a little bit, everything's good, right on the money. Uh, in the end, I ended up using almost two and a half quarts, which isn't unusual. I believe the manual says three or three and a half. Don't even go by that. Just go by, because there's so much oil. This, this engine is not a feat of engineering. It's just a big old V-twin that just hides oil inside somewhere that never comes out. Okay, so good luck getting it completely dry. So almost two and a half quarts. We're gonna move on to the transmission. All right, the transmission oil plug sucks. All right, it's always a pain in the butt to find it, but okay, so. <laughs> I actually wanted to take the initiative before I did this. So basically you go underneath the bike, all right? These are your shocks and it's, it's in between the shocks. Okay, you can see it, it takes a 3 8 hex and that's it. Um, just the hardest part is finding it and take it off of the 3 8 hex. Okay, and as for the uh, transmission drain plug, it's basically it was well, actually the exact same thing. You're gonna you're gonna want to put another O-ring on it. So we're gonna take this one off, put a new one on. Um, as a side note, you know you got the transmission oil when it just smells horrible, just an awful smell. Put the new one on. Transmission oil is completely drained. So now we're just gonna put the plug back in and Okay, so putting transmission oil back into your bike is accomplished. Okay, here we are on the bike, and you're gonna wanna go right here. Okay, in order to get that out, you're gonna need either a hex, which I have no idea what size, or you could use a big old T55 Torx. Okay, so it calls for one quart. Um, chances are not everything is out, so give it like 28 ounces or 26, whatever you prefer, and check it and then add as necessary. Okay, so transmission is done. We're now we're gonna move on to the primary. So, and in case y'all didn't know that where the primary is, it's on the left side of the bike. <laughs> All right, is your primary cover. This is where you're gonna add, but um, where you're gonna drain from is under there. We're gonna get to there in a minute. Harley must love 5 5.8s because it takes another 5 5.8s. All right, so go up under here. You're gonna see your drain plug is right here. Gonna undo that, let it drain while it's draining. 
You can start undoing these five bolts, which we'll get to in just a minute. Okay, so your primary oil is draining. Now what you should be doing is getting your Torx. All right, you're gonna wanna grab the T27. Okay, T27, one, two, three, four, five, get them off. All right, you're gonna wanna be super careful of this too. This is your gasket. I put this gasket on myself last year and I'm assuming it's still good. I just need to sort of get it away. It's probably, you know, this thing's been sort of under vacuum. And there you have it. And that's how you're gonna add your oil. As in usual Harley fashion, you have another O-ring, which you're going to pry off and put on a new one. Okay, for your primary, it's gonna take one quart a regular 20W50. And there's really no easy way to do this it, it, unless you have this very specific tool, which I, I'm not going to buy just because I don't need another device. I, it's, a, it's a gimmick. If you got a minute, it'll be our. most things you want to inspect this gasket here make sure it's okay it actually looks great so we're gonna definitely use it again just be careful with it because it's it's made out of like it seems almost like cardboard try to use the star pattern and you're tightening them up so a little bit and okay and there you have it that's a three hole oil change oh my. regular oil transmission oil primary slash clutch oil all done all mobile one and i'm ready to rip for the rest of the summer this oil could take a beating it's fully synthetic Trust Mobile One. I've been using it for years. Don't worry, I'm not endorsed by Mobile One. This is just my opinion. Um, so anyway, more videos to come on the bike, especially if there's any maintenance. I'll try to uh, get it on camera for sure. Um, that way we can kind of all learn. And anyway, safe riding, guys. I'll see you soon.